All right, so um, it is, what time is it? 6.02 on um, Thursday, February 16th. Uh, welcome to full on spring, mud season. Um, and I'm gonna call the meeting to order. So first item is to set adjust agenda. Do you have changes? Yeah. You have two that you wanna take off. One thing to add, um, uh, since Content, since SE Group is supposed to have a contract for the bridge um, manufacturer, yeah, um, and it's possible that OP won't be around to take care of that. Yeah. We need to determine who's going to sign that contract so they can get moving to take some six. Okay, six so days. I could sign that. Let's do that. As item five. Sure. <coughs> five. Um, <clears throat> authorize you to sign the contract. You said two. Yep. Um, I received a request for a letter of support for a grant, uh, RBDG grant for the Northern Four Center. And before I re respond to them, I want to just make sure that the board's okay with the letter of support. Um, I have an email. And then I put in the folder um, their summary of the grant. I don't know if it's in here. I put it in at the end of the day. Ah, I can end get of it the for day. You. I can get it for you. Okay. And, and uh, cemetery policies. Cemetery policies, item seven, where our list is growing. Do we need to add an item for the conservation uh, commission email that we got, or are we punting that to next meeting? That, next. That's next meeting for. We have two appointments. Nice. Um, one of them can't. One of them couldn't make it tonight, but we're gonna do it at the next meeting. Oh yeah. And then the following meeting after that, because the other person's gonna be away. So we had two people that want to get on the conservation commission. Great. I've gotten emails. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay, so we'll, those will be next. So wh what I have is, what's burning? What's running? It's Something. The cameras. Oh, making noise. <laughs> ah, thank you. Um, okay, so server. The we, server. Yeah. Holy Jesus. Yeah. Cool. We get, well, okay. light bill on this. That might be up. So, uh, all right. Four sixty running in there. I'd like a motion to amend the agenda to include items five, six, and seven. So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, that's everybody. Motion carries. Uh, next, communication from the audience. Audience is a little uh, thin on the ground tonight. Uh, select board to, next is select board to approve minutes from last time, which was February the 2nd. Uh, okay, we're good. Anybody? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of approving the minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Oops. Stay, because it was and not a, it was absenting. All right, motion carries. <sighs> Sending that back. Um, next is uh, town manager report. Mr. Upson. All right, I'm going to table the first thing and I'm going to let him cover it. Yeah. Um, and then just uh, the East Hardwick Fire District will have a link on our website. They're creating their website. Oh. So um, you'll be able to access that on our website. That's cool. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, the slate roof and chimney flashing request for proposals will be advertised after the state, state signs off on the RFP for the repairs on the Memorial Building roof. Nice. Uh, the cost of the repairs will be covered by a historic preservation grant. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Um, v Trans is in the pro. I got a call from Jackie Casino. Uh, v Trans is in the process of providing towns along the LVRT with wayfinding signage. They're the brown arrows and mm -hmm. like uh, to locate uh, resources. Um, Jackie is asking for permission to put signs up in our town right away. So, like <coughs> anywhere off of their state routes to. Um, direct trail users to the Creamery Road trailhead for starters. So Makes sense. we just she needs <coughs> she just wants permission. There the signs aren't done. 
<coughs> they're going to send us, she said she was going to send an email by the end of the week just showing how the signs are, where they're going to be laid out, and just a description, and she just wants the towns. She's going to work with you on placement? Um, like I think they have it? a plan for placement, okay. so they're just going to let us know what their plan is, but they just want permission to do it. They need it from us? <coughs> yeah. Move Isn't that funny? This, the state is asking us for permission. <laughs> it is different. All right, Wiz has a motion. Yeah. Second. Okay, all in favor of giving the state permission to put up <laughs> wayfinding signs for people to find the LVRG, please say aye. 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 That's everyone. Please put up a sign to help people bring chainsaw and a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Motion carries. A lawnmower. On the winter, Danny Hale's product group. Need a shovel for get the dog turds off the trail. <laughs> yeah, well, there's oh, that. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Horses, too, in the summer. Well, in the village, we do have an ordinance, and so there, we could start to we could find get, people. We're, going, for... we're getting off track. Yeah. All right, carry oh, on. I have a feeling we're going to get back no, on that. We're yeah. going to get back on track. Come on. Um, business summit announcement. Okay. So here's the flyer. We have a link on our website of the Hardwick Area Business Opportunity Conference. This is uh, February 25th at, from 8 to 1 at the Hazen Union High School. Uh, check out the link on the website. Um, it, this is a grant fund from the USDA. The partners are Lamoil Housing Partnership, uh, NVDA, Northeast Kingdom Chamber of Commerce and the town of Hardwick. And who's the target audience? Like who they want to come? But, uh, it's really like a going to be a business resource. So local businesses. Okay. Yep. What about people who are thinking they'd like to go into business and have no idea? I think that would probably be a good. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Per perspective business owners. Yes. Yes. So um, you can check it out. There's a this flyer. There's a QR code on the bottom. Um, you can access it on the website, and they have a website up and running too. You so. do have to register. So. You do have, yeah, you do have to register. Just wait till they have. Right, you can't just show up. Okay, you get escorted out. Uh, I'm sure you will. But, <laughs> By you? Um, no. <laughs> Polite little bit. No, you're fine. Um, that's it. I've got some. I mean, stuff in the agenda. But yeah. Okay. That's. I, I kept it short because awesome. Henry's got a basketball game at 6:30. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> last one, last one of the season. 6:30. Yeah, so I like okay, the last, going. the last quarter. All right, uh, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Henry, I think you're up next, right? Because yeah. we don't have Tom Fott Fadden. We don't. So the uh, I think the first thing is talking about the snowmobile patrol that we've been doing. I think there's a little bit of uh, miscommunication out there. I thought we put it up for. But this was a grant that we got from VAST to do this. In a, con a contract. In a contract with VAST. So the way we wrote the, uh, uh, the way it was written up is that we would cover the towns of Hardwick and also all the surrounding towns uh, that was written in the grant for us to get this. What that includes is VAST pays for snowmobiles that we have. They pay for uh, all the officers' time that's out there and the gas that goes into the machines. So uh, we don't have anything to do with this. I mean, the town doesn't. The, the Hardwick taxpayers. The Hardwick taxpayers are not really contributing to this. It's all paid for through VAST. Um, some, I think some of the complaints <coughs> is that uh, we were out doing patrols in uh, Woodbury and the surrounding towns. And I just want to make sure that everybody understands that this is part of... It's by design. It's by design. Yeah. And it's good for it. it. doesn't matter where there's misbehavior. And, and if this <laughs> is... I mean, if they're speeding in Wall, then they're speeding in Hardwick. There's also... We, uh, we if we're speeding <laughs> in Hardwick... This is not taking away from patrols, routine, regular, normal operating patrols in the town. This, this is... Uh, officers are doing this on their days off. And we're mainly using the, uh, the part-time guys to do this. Um, George has been the big one. He's going out on every patrol um, <coughs> with this. But uh, anyway, I think it's going pretty good so far. I don't know what, whether Danny's got any feedback, anything different. Or, so. Mm, um, no, I mean, I, I haven't seen you, but um, we haven't had any snow. So. Yeah. We've only I think it's a good thing. I think you guys need to be out there. I mean, I know that there's citizens that have issues. You know, with snowmobiling in general, and also, you know, it, unfortunately, when I go by you at 50 miles an hour and you're standing on that rail trail, it, you certainly could feel like I was doing 100. 
Yeah. <clears throat> you know, um, 35 is, or 25, we've got it posted in the village at 25. <laughs> it's still, for someone that's not used to a snowmobile going up within four or five feet of them at 20 miles an hour, it's, I can understand why they're concerned, but. It still seems fast. It yeah. does, but uh, I mean, the situation is what it is. We have to share it, so I slow down. I think that's the key is everybody has to be able to share. Yeah. We all have to get along out there. But having so. having the having the law enforcement based out of here in Hardwick in this community is a great thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. From a snowmobiler's perspective. My small my perspective anyway. Okay. <clears throat> um, so the other thing that I have is uh, uh, the we had somebody from UVM that wanted to do a uh, speed survey for us and there it's uh jim sullivan from the university of vermont transportation research center uh he works with v trans and they set up down here on route 14 uh south main street and this is kind of what he came up with they just did it for a few days um <clears throat> just drastic just basically the speeds that they they saw there they're going to work with us to try and come up with uh, tactics as, to, as far as uh, reducing speed. I think some of the business owners complain about the speed down there. Um, so maybe they can come up with some other things, uh, other ways we can reduce the speed without necessarily law enforcement doing it. Um, can you summarize what he found? Uh, just They're just collecting data, and he had... <clears throat> they're going to have some uh, guidelines for us to uh, to try and use to uh, slow people down in that area. So he and found that people are speeding. Yeah. Yes. Down so there. there's yeah. the speed limit is the little blue one, and then all the squiggly lines above it are the average speeds coming into town. Yeah. Oh, then, so that's this. Yeah. This so this is all this is rolling into town from Route 14, heading north into the village, and yeah. that's when you're transitioning and you hit the. It goes 25. from 50 to 40 to 25. Yeah. 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 So. So they're doing it right in the 25 zone, just trying to see where people are at. And How far in do you know? They're set. They were set up at the UPS store. Oh, that's right after the, the yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah. So I I uh, they have been. And there's no countermeasures. That's what they. That's what he calls them. Um, there's 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 no flashing lights. There's no right median. It's, there's just right. It's an open road. So way up there, it should be down. But you should be down about 25 by then. I mean, you're going uphill. When I come into town at 55, <laughs> with your cell phone in your hand. No, I don't, I don't have a cell phone in my hand because there's no cell service in town. Um, but no, I'm just thinking that that's definitely. I would agree that that fire out by the UPS store. That's all. That's a lot of people going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because these are mile per hour things here, like up to 80 miles an hour. No, uh, no, no, that's percentage, percentage. Oh. Yeah. Um, over the speed limit. Percentage over the yeah. speed limit, but that's still a lot of a large percentage of people over the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, a that, lot of the time. but that's right where it's trend. Isn't that the sign it's 40 is 40 to 25? 40 to 25, right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, right. I think the thing to gather from this is that they're going to come up with some. Uh, tactics for us to use yep. other oh. than law enforcement. To, you know, here's what we can do to kind of slow people down, make them more aware that this is a 25 zone yep. and this is a 40 zone, yep. that type of thing. Okay. So Good. more to more to come on that, but that's just the survey that he, he just gave us. Good. <laughs> Cost us nothing. <laughs> Free. Free is always good. Best price. So I just gathered some data from. Uh, uh, just the last month, looking at uh, kind of the offenses, the criminal offenses that we've had, also the times of calls. And I just wanted to show the board just that our peak peak time for calls is right in the afternoon, right around three o'clock. Uh, that's when we're getting the majority of our calls. Really? Yeah. Uh, Why? For service. That's surprising. It is surprising um, when you think about it, but. Uh, hmm. It actually, it works for us because that's where we have the overlap of staff, actually, of staff have, working two people. And that is generally, uh, from being there, that is when it's busier, is right in the afternoon. 
uh, calls for service. Uh, and then I pulled it out by day. And interestingly, the day with the least amount of calls was Fridays. So, huh. thought that uh, was a little unusual. Yeah, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't <coughs> guessed either. I'd have been wrong on both of those. Yeah, yeah. me too. I would think right, well. 6 p.m. would be closer to late, a little later than that early in the day. And again, this is just a snapshot yeah. for the last 30 days. Okay. Uh, same thing. Well, Criminal. in the summer, it might be later. Yeah, summer, <laughs> it might change. That might turn uh, differently. Everybody's in bed by 6 o'clock in the winter time. <laughs> I did notice it was almost daylight when I headed up here tonight. Mm -hmm. It's getting nice, and then we're going to get that time change, too. So looking at the arrests that we had uh, just in the past month, I pulled the top 10 offenses for arrest. Uh, number one was the, uh, we're arresting a lot of people on uh, state warrants, uh, active arrest warrants. Uh, the next thing is uh, driving with suspended license. Uh, then we have uh, DUIs, uh, our DUIs are going up, uh, violation of conditions, drugs. We're starting to get a lot of drug offenses. Um, that's just something for you to... Is that new? Is that what? Is that new in your experience? Uh, no, but <clears throat> we are going at, we are basically targeting uh, <clears throat> what we feel are the uh, drug suppliers who are more of a public safety issue here in the community. That's what we're going after uh, and we're taking them out. It just takes a lot of resources to do that, but I feel that it's uh, to the benefit of the town that we uh, eliminate. It some absolutely of these. is. Um, and it's going to seem to us like there's, you know, the numbers are, there's more arrests, there's more things happening because they're doing more. It's not that the problem's any worse. I don't mm -hmm. believe the problem's any worse. It's just a matter of they're doing a better job of, especially with like these wars. I mean, that's, I support that 100%. That's what these things are out there for. We're doing a lot of search warrants too, uh, just to get the drugs, so. <coughs> uh, take them off the streets, but there's a lot of follow-up that goes with that. So Mike, this is again to... just 30 days? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the office. Um, and that is pretty much it. That's all I have at this point. Great. So. Any other questions for Mike? I'd like to inject a historical moment uh, here. Okay. Sure. In 1886, Hardwick had no police force. Mm -hmm. um, there were two grocers in town <coughs> who put in billiard tables, one in a room beside the grocery and one at the back of the grocery. And the select board issued a notice to both of them that they absolutely, for the public good, could not allow people to use those billiard tables. Wow. Why? In the grocery store. <laughs> in the grocery store. I suspect gambling. Yeah, they just thought it was yeah. going to breed illegal activity right. or immoral or something. Yeah. Trouble, capital Trouble. T rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. Yeah, beer drinking and pool playing and <laughs> in the grocery store. <laughs> wow, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that was the good old days. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. It's not all, <laughs> all that good to me <laughs> now. <laughs> today's wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. Think about somebody that's ninety years old and the changes they've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, it'd be great if our main concern was a pool hall. <laughs> we can go back to Mayberry. We're talking yeah. about <laughs> between classes and schools. All right. All right. You can be Don Knotts. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is the Hardwick Electric Report, given by Lynn Gedenkin, who is not here. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna. We're going to move on. Um, item one, select board to consider replacing the temporary Hardwick LVRT working group with a more formal Hardwick LVRT committee. So you have a little thing in here. I have a little thing. So I read a little email about it, I think. I would like, to, I, I, I'm not excited about creating another committee for trails. We it's not have a trail committee. It's not it's, a new, it's not, it's not, not a new, new committee for trails. Yet. It's not so a new committee for a trail. We can roll um, back. It's yeah. for the it's 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 a group that's been meeting um, all along, but it's uh, wanting to be a little bit more formally organized <coughs> instead of like an ad hoc thing to be under recreation. But it's separately. It's 
a group of people that are working on that, on the LVRT, on the trailheads. The direct, directly Does, related, and directly impacted so by the. He, I, does it end up being a standing committee, or do you think most of the work is really kind of helping to get things set up? And then after there are trailheads established and parking established and wayfinding, et cetera, do you? That's when we're going to talk about maintenance. <laughs> right? All of that needs to be continued, though. It turns over. You know the state is supposed to be doing the maintenance. The state is not going to do maintenance. But we have to give them the benefit no, of the doubt. No, we don't have to. I think we do. So if you read and when this, they don't do it, then we. I don't. I don't think we fine. should. That's fine. If we stay on topic, this group. So if you read this, it says. Do you want me to read it out loud or? Go, oh, sure. Go ahead. Um, so the LBRT Trailhead Working Group was originally formed back in August as an ad hoc committee to support the efforts of the Harvard Community Development Coordinator, Tracy who was at the time preparing that application for the VTRANS LVRT Community Grant Program. Um, we decided to, um, and, and then whatever, the, to underwrite the construction of the two LVRT trailheads that we have, East Hardwick and a pause place, and then the Hardwick one is at the townhouse, and then the pause place is here behind the Memorial Park. Um, when we didn't, choose to pursue that trailhead grant, the group has shifted focus. And three of us know this because we've been going to the meetings um, and identifying the immediate needs of the trail traffic, the talking, you know, talking through a lot of the connector loop stuff that is supposed to help us um, make our way through to the park. Um, There's also been a- Wayfinding, marketing, Connecting to the downtown organization, mm -hmm. there's it's more than just we have the out we have the Vorac piece of marketing that they could work on. They also have we have the consortium grant for all the Northeast Kingdom towns along the rail trail that will identify in a amenities a, in a scoping study that the grant was funded. We contributed to the. Um, yeah, the match. The match, <laughs> that they're going to identify places in town, two places in town, and they're going to need input from the community. And I think this group would, knowing what they know now, they've been involved in the regional meetings, they can provide uh, an educational background to the scoping study folks, too. <clears throat> I guess my only question is if, Is most of the work like going to happen over the next like couple years, and then it's going to hopefully be pretty dialed in? And at that point, do we still need a committee? I say we decide that then. And dissolve the committee potentially, rather than having it. I mean, uh, it just it's, needs it's, to... it's a subcommittee off of the rec committee, so we could. Okay. And we could appoint it for a set number of years. Yeah. Like, give it a sunset of five years. Or whatever. I just, yeah, just I'm a little, I think maybe when Danny first voiced concern, one of the first things that came to my mind is we do have a lot of committees and it is sometimes yeah. hard to get enough mm -hmm. people to staff them. Well, we already have people on this We already group. have people on this, and but that's why I And people interested thinking, in joining this group. Right. From so, the rec <laughs> department, rec committee. And the proposal is that it will involve people who, who for a variety of reasons, directly touch the LVRT mm -hmm. and, and groups mm -hmm. that, um, so that their interest would yeah. remain alive. So, or we could just, yeah, go ahead, go ahead Kaylee. So what I was just hearing was that this committee already exists as an ad hoc committee. So my, I guess my question is what, uh, does it have to change? Can it stay an ad hoc committee? Or what's the benefit of turning it into a, into a proper trails committee since we already have the Harvick Trails Committee and the Rec Committee? Like, what's, the, what's the group looking for in making it more of a town committee? It, 
It seems to me that as a, as a appointed committee, frankly, it will take itself more seriously. That an ad hoc committee is sort of, you know, for today and next week, um, or for a defined project. And there is no time defined or, or final, finally defined project here. Um, it's something that's going to be ongoing, and while there are a lot of startup activities that are going to be undertaken and are now under study and being decisions being made, the decisions that need to be made are going to change, but there's still going to be decisions in the across time. And a committee that is just told that, well, you're just temporary is not as likely to take that on as seriously as one that says you're the committee whose job it is to pay attention to this. Well, if we have people to staff it and the people working on it want to undergo under this organizational structure, then let's, uh, let's do it. But I think giving it a time you know, giving it a sunset date is not a bad idea. Or maybe just appointing everybody to the same term, and then at a certain point, like, everybody's term is up, and then you can decide, do we reappoint, or is it just done? Which has the same effect. Yeah. Yeah. I move we create the LVRT, the Hardwick LVRT committee. As a... As, a, as its own committee or as, as, a, a, committee, as a subcommittee of the rec committee? As a subcommittee, as a, an autonomous subcommittee under the recreation committee. Mm -hmm. Second. More discussion. Why do we always do our discussion and then have a motion? Everybody does. I, I think that's how the rules are written. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. All in favor of creating the LVRT uh, trailhead? Committee, please say aye. 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 Gailey, are you an aye? Oh. Uh oh. I didn't. I still didn't get that. Oh, that was. You uh -oh. need to ask for the names. Yeah, ask for the names. Uh, any nays? Nay. Gailey, were you an aye or a nay? Yeah, or nay. Did you hear me? No. Oh, I was an I. Okay, thank you. Okay, the eyes have it. Thank you. Function carries. Oh, do we need to, or not? Are we pointing people? No, we're not. No. Next, item two, select board to discuss and authorize the town manager to proceed with a buyout application under the hazard mitigation grant program, to, which is part of something FEMA. bigger, FEMA, yeah. uh, to purchase the property located at 166 Wolcott Street. So the issue with this property is that it's in the flood and it's been for sale for a lot of years. And um, so there's an opportunity to uh, use FEMA funds to purchase it and then uh, it becomes not a building in the flood anymore. It gets right. the, the thing where you buy it Remove the structure? Yep. But it's unoccupied. I mean, there's a guy that has been there paying rent. It's been used, being used. It's occupied. I, I don't get this. Who benefits besides Pat Malone? He gets paid for it, right? Right. 60 grand? 78, 130. Yeah, no. I don't get that. Opie. Opie. Oh, sorry to interrupt, Jane. I didn't hear you. Do you mind, just so folks who maybe haven't looked at this, do you mind just doing a quick, quick cap of what the what the idea is behind behind this? Um, it was brought to me by. Um, well, we discussed it. The realtor discussed it with the zoning administrator. We've had several people look at the property, uh, and then come and find out what they would need to do to improve the property, improve the building, and the, the permitting and process to improve the building scares people, they run the other direction, and this has been going on for the last eight years. 
Uh, there's a hole in the back of the foundation on the river side. Um, and it would just be a very costly and permit heavy um, project. So somebody could definitely come in and and put a bunch of money into it and make it better. Do you know who Pat Malone is? I do. I know. No. What would the town do with the with the property of the building? It would. Um, so FEMA would. Um, we go through the. So this is just to, to fill out an application. Submit the application. They go through to see if the property would qualify. They believe it would, uh, on a high level. Um, and then we would close on the property, and then we would tear the building down, and there wouldn't be anything. Does FEMA provide the money to pay for the property FEMA, and to tear down the building? FEMA provides, um, the total cost of the project is 120380 Uh FEMA would provide um, 108340 Forty-two, and uh, the local share would be twelve thousand thirty-eight dollars. Yeah. Um, and then it would be just open space. We could put parking there, um, but it just can't be. We can't put anything there. It can just be. We have property. We own property half, like basically ten feet over, ten or twenty feet from the door down to the bridge. So we have property there. Mm -hmm. um, that people are using, um, that use the building or using town property for, for no, no rent if they park there, but that's fine. Um, so that that's that's the project. So why doesn't the owner have to pay that twelve thousand thirty eight? Well, that's remaining amount. Um, I that was a question I had. I got this. I had a meeting with FEMA. And I got all this application, and one of the questions was because in the meeting they didn't say that the town there would be any financial obligation by the town. Right. So I would need to clear up that twelve thousand thirty-eight dollars. Yeah. And figure that out. Because they're the ones that have the yeah. Right. Yeah, it seems like the property owner is the one. Yeah, who the benefits. property owner is a developer that actually has millions of square feet of commercial property throughout. He's making money, and he knows what he's millions. got. Yeah, yeah. He owns all those places over by Duck Cabot is and Montpelier, all those buildings. He owns buildings all on Barry Montpelier Road. He owns Barry Lynch's right Burlington. Yeah, I'd be all millions for it if he was so taking care of that part. And commercial buildings. It wasn't yeah. costing us anything very well except for himself. writing yeah, the grant. got more money than God. Huh. This was a bad investment on his part, and I hate to see him get rewarded for it by getting full asking price. Right. Well, he needs to pay the other amount. Yeah. If FEMA will pay 90 percent, yeah, we you might be able to convince me if it was zero dollars. I can. Right. I can. I don't think the town should pay. No, I can. I can definitely yeah. have that conversation and again. I'd, I would. I would. I just. We're rewarding the wrong person for for this. I mean, it's it's inhabited. Somebody uses it. He's been collect, you know, he's been renting it. It's, it's rented right now, so it's not like yeah. it's. So I thought it was it's not a decapitated. And we are we already own the flood zone law that we can put up mm, another bit. We don't know own the flood zone law. Well, privately owned. Yeah, with our money. No, we no. got that note back, and it's owned by somebody else. Oh, really? Who just bought it and who wants to develop it? Good. When did that happen? This fall. Yeah, cool. Great. But this can't be developed. Not can't if we go through this. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that noise. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if, if you go through this. I mean, FEMA it'd be great process. if it could be parking, but I would like to know that it could be used as parking. It can. It can't be used or it can. It can, yes. And is that's that. Because that's temporary, so it wouldn't, yeah. So uh, help me a little bit. Like I'm having a hard time just mentally visualizing the mm -hmm. connection between because the, the current diner parking lot has a bunch of spaces that are parallel parking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't they don't touch though? So. No, they don't touch. No. Gary Richardson owns no, property in between. A, so there's that gap the in fence. between where, where that kid drove into the river. Remember? Oh yeah. Last year, whatever. There's a gap there. 
So a green, little tiny green space. So between. let's say. But you still could be. You still got the road is still totally. It red. gets really yeah. skinny there. Yeah. For yeah. A That's what time. I was trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, this, this so a okay. Narrow section. So if you so if this went through <laughs> and if we were using it as parking, you would access downtown by crossing the road right there at Cottage going Street and going up the sidewalk. But the sidewalk it needs to be. We could move to, our parking ride. Yeah, Put the parking the ride there. Instead of in the fire and station, bus travel, bus parking there, one way. Hmm. Metric is a charging station. I don't, we can't. We wouldn't be able to Come do that. Come on, we, we couldn't do that because it's, it's, because it's too much infrastructure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. In the flood, it was a joke. <laughs> no, but you had. I thought. Oh, maybe. <laughs> there are. Anyway, we have another FEMA property down on Route 15, and there are a few things you can do. Right, at Cape Road. Yeah. It's on the deed, and it's um, there are a few things you can do. That's a FEMA place. Yeah. 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 And I looked at that, and you can have a public rest area, <clears throat> like a public rest stop there, oh. and that I mean that would be a way to access the river and the rail trail. That yeah. property down there, <clears throat> the Capusta property. Anyway, so we're getting yeah. off. So this oh, one, point. yeah, uh, we, we only have one, Danny. Just one, one FEMA property. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. But I'm act, we're we're getting a lot of access to it. Stuff. Anyway, yeah. This here. Um, Do you want to table it? No, I, I don't. The mic. I guess. I'm going with if it can be parking and it doesn't cost the town a dime, then I'm all for it. But any of those two things aren't yeah, going to happen. I would have to. Owner needs to come up with there. that twelve. I'm sure he's going to. I, he, he's been trying to note it long enough. He's take ten grand hit and be gone. But yeah, fine. I mean. That would be not unreasonable walk for the employees that were working on Main Street. Right. Mm -hmm. So their patrons could park in front of their place instead of parking yeah, in front of their not, place. It's not really that far. If you're going to be work for an eight-hour shift, it's not that far at all. I mean, we need parking. That's about as close as you're going to get to Main Street. I mean, yeah. there's no other. Right. It is the closest to Main Street as you're going to get. So um, that so you were looking you had you said there's an application that needs to happen. Yeah, I got to get it in. And you need a, our approval to do the application. That's what you're. Well, I could have done it without your approval. Yeah. No, but, but that's I what you're asking. I don't like to run. I don't like to operate <laughs> that way. He doesn't like to back up. So I put my name on the top of the application. So we could have the, a contingency could be in there that the owner is going to pay that other amount. If we get the grant for him, <coughs> we can have that. I can have that discussion with a realtor. Yeah. Because it seems like we're doing all the work. Is a realtor at least basically a Basically selling realtor? it for him. Yes. <laughs> the sign says choice yeah. realtor, I think. <coughs> Neighbor realtor. I think so. Um, she needs to donate her commission to no, charity. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> not going to get into that right now. <laughs> Everybody's winning except for me again. Again. Oh my God. Anyway, so yeah, life is so unfair. So is it generally yeah. accepted, or do we need a motion? No. As long as it doesn't cost money, it's generally accepted. Yeah. When it doesn't cost the town. Proceed. Thank you. Please. I yeah. Usually come up with good ideas. I've been yeah. Chopped down yet? Yeah. No, this is great. <laughs> uh, next is. <laughs> Item three, we're, item three, select board to authorize the town manager to sign the annual Hardwick Hazardous Waste event Whoa. on July 8th, located at 155 Creamery Road. Once a year, you can get rid of your hazardous waste. Yeah. The yeah. rest of the time, it sits in your house. And the funny thing is, is so I... You can take it all the way to... Noah's yeah. Ark? Uh, no, that's not hazardous waste. Oh. Sure. I already signed you know it. That there are program? always then there are said. other um, hazardous waste events that happen in in solid, in, the, in our district. Yeah. So if you miss the one in Hardwick, you can go to those others because we're a member of a district. How do you want to pronounce that person's name? Not yet, no. but they're, the solid waste district is working hard Who? and practically in a the first, in a the first contract name. to buy you property and build yeah. their solid waste Black district. Black oh. Good. They're, they're, Hazardous waste. Awesome. awesome. Sure, do you know? How do you pronounce that first name? What first name? Of the person. M Ms. Penny. It's a Ms. Lakeland. 
Lakeland Finney. Lakeland? Yeah. Is it, is it Finney. Female? Finney. Lakeland Finney. Finney, I th yeah. I think it's a uh, uh, yeah, BF. Yeah. Yeah. BF thing, yeah. They uh, started at the Solid Waste District fairly recently, yeah. and I have not met that person I was just yet. saying, that's uh, never, absolutely never seen that name before. And you know, they're hiring an executive director soon, too. Wow. Hopefully. Nice. It's been a lot going since on. January. Uh, so, could we have a motion to authorize the town manager to sign the hazardous so waste? Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Kayla, you on board with uh, having OP sign the uh, hazardous waste thing? Yes, please. Thank you. Yep. Um, so, that's everybody. Motion carries. Item four discussion and amendment of project value threshold fees for the zoning office. That's, that's like a mouthful to me. Yeah. Is that just me? Or that? So this is a request from our zoning administrator. This is actually going to make it a little easier, a little cheaper for folks doing small projects. So it's changing the threshold limits because the cost of materials have gone up. The oh. cost of things have changed. I see. So if you're building a small garage, it's not going to cost you as much as it would have if we don't change the thresholds. Yeah. Does that Sounds make sense? Good. Yeah, no, it this makes isn't a lot of sense. A, we're not raising the zoning fees. The fees are staying the same. It's just the threshold to hit the fees have gone up according to the yes. increase in cost in construction. Right. Yes. It used to cost you 50000 cost you 75000 Right. So yes. The fees should be the same. Yes. I make a motion we do that. Second. See, we're looking out. Uh, all in favor of adjusting the uh, thresholds for the fee schedule, please say aye. 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 The proposed. Aye. Yeah. All right. To the To the proposed. Uh, so, yes, as proposed <coughs> by the zoning administrator. Yeah. Uh, so, great. Motion carries. That's awesome. Yep. Thank you to you and Kristen for keeping up on that. Um, item five uh, is to authorize me this, as select board chair to sign uh, a, context, a contract for the sw swinging bridge replacement, which may, we hope, be coming in when uh, Mr. Upson may be out of the office, right? The That's contract what we're itself should be coming in the next week. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to, too. We oh, should you authorize, sign it? We we should authorize sign it? Danny. Because he doesn't get to ever do anything fun. Or, no. I don't care who signed. Where's Opie yeah. going to be? Nah, he's he's, he's um, vacation. He may not be here, so. He do not get a vacation. Oh, that's not in his contract. Only his second year. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, hopefully SE Group is going to get it to us next week. And if he's next. not available, okay. then I wanted to have backup. Do you want to sign it? Because it takes six weeks to build the thing. Six weeks. Did you say you want to sign it? I think I hope they can build it in six weeks. Do you think I should sign it? Six months. Yeah. Six I have more gravitas. <laughs> yeah. more gravitas. <laughs> right. I just, six. I do that. Yeah, six months. Yeah. So come on, let's start yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I thought really? they were on it. Whoever you, whoever you want to have sign it, but I, you know. Just do a whole bridge. I think the chair of the select board should sign it. I think the chair should yeah. definitely sign it. Yeah. I motion to have Eric be the alternate to sign uh, if need be for the pedestrian bridge. However, you want to word that motion. Second. All in favor. All in favor, please say aye. Aye, aye, aye. aye. Danny. Aye. Sorry. Aye. Kayla, thank you. Great. I like the little. I like the little. However, you want to word that, Kaylee, in your motion. Um, next item six is for the select board to consider a letter of support for the Northern Forest Center for a something yeah. something something grant. Okay. Um, so the Get NEK Vermont Regional Marketing Campaign facilitated by the Northern Forest Center with an engaged set of stakeholders from across the region since 2018 helps sustain and grow visitor dependent rural businesses by marketing Vermont's Northeast Kingdom as a unique cultural and dynamic destination. Um, the Northern Forest Center is putting together an application for USDA Rural Business Development Grant funding to support the continuation of the Get Naked campaign through 2023-24 and bring additional research for community-based event promotion. We are seeking input on the proposed scope of work and letters of support as we will work to compile and submit the application before February 28th. 
Um, we've asked for your, so this is an email. We've asked, we have, we've appreciated your participation in the campaign and knowing that the RBDG is a source many of us look to. We want to ask, um, are you putting together, putting together or aware of application that a request for Get Naked would directly conflict? Does the attached summary of the grant application feel right to you? A new component of the grant application includes advertising marketing budget for individual communities to utilize for specific events that would complement the region campaign. If this looks good, are you be willing to submit a letter of support in favor of the application? Um, they'd like a response by Monday. And they're not proposing the changing the name of their thing at all? Not at this time. I don't, you don't like the name. I hate it. I really yeah. hate the name. The name. What is it? Get naked. And it, it's, get any cake. Well, it's a mouthful because you don't know. It's if, weird. You don't know if you say get any cade, Vermont, or get naked, Vermont. So it's. it's get naked. It's, it's, and if you're yeah. outside of if you're outside yeah. of the Northeast Kingdom, you don't Our even know what any K means. It so mean it's anything. dumb. But uh, it's, it's not what they're doing. Yeah. They just want to. It's doing somebody's great. idea. It's it just somebody's idea that yeah. shouldn't have flown. <laughs> <laughs> and so, let's not say somebody's idea. Poorly designed. Let's be poorly designed. Let's be, kind. Designed. Let's be kind. They're doing good but work. But they're doing marketing yes. for our region. Yes, yes they are. Good. And it's appealing to an audience. The Apparently. So that attend the South Beach at Willoughby. I mean, <laughs> I mean yes. Yeah. So I don't necessarily have a, a negative uh, thing here, but did we kind of say we weren't going to just give these letters of support out? Correct. That's why without I'm doing this. The, yeah. Without seeing but the, without seeing the, they really, so they did. They, they, they did have a summary. The summary yeah, right. of their summary, grant, but it's, it's not the whole thing. It's and it's the. There's more. I didn't read the, everything. The, right. It was a you know grant that for the same type grant from USDA that we got into sticky um, situation with supporting and then not really getting our deliverable that we were promised. Yeah, we're getting one. Um, yeah, we're not getting a market side. analysis. Um, we're getting something else. So could I make a motion to authorize Sherry? You cannot make a motion. <laughs> I know I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's fine with me. I think they're doing good work. I, I'm not questioning them, but. But who is it? The Forest who? Northern Forest Center. Northern Forest Center supports this I and know. get any. It's going to cost us no money. I move that we authorize OP to write a letter in support of this grant proposal. Does it have, have to be money. me? Could it be our community development coordinator? It could be the community development right. Okay. As long as you but you probably sign it. Town yeah. officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. Have to authorize the town manager to sign the letter of support. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So all in favor. You do we have a second on that? I didn't Danny do it? Did you do it? Second. I, I thought don't he know. did. I don't even vote for it. Okay, all in favor of letter of support for that this trip. Grant, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Motion carries. Next item seven um, the select board to approve the new cemetery policies as distributed by Wiz earlier this week or was it last week? It was Weekend? It was Wednesday. It was Tuesday. The final. So it was Tuesday evening. I don't know. I got. I, the town sexton, did we have one of those now? No. Well, we we had Stanley Allen. He was, quit on the no, first he was, week. He was in a, a, a sex that sexton was his title? Yeah. And then and we had paid? And then we had Ed. Ed. Paid? Keen. Are these paid positions? I never so remember. Stanley the, the sexton works on fees. So he, he is chosen for this position by the town. But the taxpayer doesn't actually pay him because the everything he are. does is based on, on fees. Um, fees for like digging. Uh, yeah. Right. Digging Setting down. markers, Grave, selling markers. In. Yeah. Right. Selling plots. Um, and it provides a, a single yeah. person who handles all of this business for the town cemeteries. And importantly, that person is not us because 
We are. Yeah. And even more importantly, that person is actually keeping good records. That's the part I'm thinking good. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. And concerns me from what I've heard of the, yeah. the past. That part concerns me way more than yes. We everything. Have, we have room for things improvement. Things that I've heard in, you know, it, there's been some less than stellar performance in the record keeping department mm -hmm. of the cemeteries. Mm -hmm. And I think that is way more important than who's mowing the lawn. Yep. No, no, you know, no, right. I'm not trying to be, right. I mean, uh, I want the lawns mowed, but the uh, record keeping is something that should be. So, but this is the start that, of it. Yes, yeah. and if that's the understanding of the person's job description of being a sexton, is the record keeping is the top of the list? The mowing the lawns at the bottom of the list. I think that's. I'm all for it. But and we have somebody that wants to do it now. We do. So. But that's that's a step two. First step <coughs> one is to adopt the policies that. Yeah, I didn't say anything wrong with the policies. Yeah. I thought they were good. Just <coughs> not knowing that, and I knew Stanley Allen took care of the cemeteries, but I didn't know that he was actually the. Sexton. Designated. He's not for us. Anymore. No. He quit. Yeah. So. And Kaylee's a sexton for one Sanborn. cemetery. For Sanborn. Yeah. Right. And Aha! Kaylee, Kaylee understands that if we adopt this, eventually she's out of a job. She's okay with that. <laughs> right, Kaylee? I'll survive. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> All right. Make a motion. Is that what you're saying? Yes, please. Motion to adopt the policy, cemetery policy as provided. Second. Uh, any more discussion? I thought you did a great job, Liz. Thank you very much yeah. Thank you. for working on this. Yeah, this was huge. Yeah. I, this, I was I was fretting having to get into this. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Fretting. Dreading. Fretting. Fretting, fretting over it. Yeah. Fretting. So wait, before we lose the thread, right. all in favor of approving right. the cemetery policies, right. please say aye. Aye, aye. 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 And I heard a Kaylee aye there too. Yeah. So that's everybody. Yeah, thanks so much, Liz, because this is something that's been looming a little bit that we didn't, didn't um, have. Right. I, have a, I have like a procedural question. Yeah. Um, when we change an ordinance, yeah. do we just put it on the agenda, change the ordinance, you guys yeah, vote on it? There's posting and... Yeah, you have to... Doesn't that have to be a public hearing? Yeah. yeah. Yes. There always has to be a public hearing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then the they, same procedure has to be followed every time it's opened up. The ordinance. Yeah. Okay. And either we can open up the, the ordinance, or they, they, they can be petition to okay. open the ordinance. Okay. But any wanted. amendment or change requires the same process. Okay. And it's not that big a deal. We've done it a lot of no, times. It's not that big of a deal. So, okay. so just if you have one you want to get going, then just start the process. And Got it. And roll it through. One more thing about these cemetery policies. <coughs> the next step clearly uh, is to hire the no. sexton. But we also need to create paperwork and mm -hmm. structures and stuff like that. And I think <clears throat> if it were done properly, those, this is the form you have to fill out, this is the form, this is the, where you find the prices, would be inserted in this. Okay. It would not change, it would not change the policy, it would simply add more detail to how to... Be looking right. Well, it should something. be in the policy, right, it should be. Right. Uh, um, so, fee schedule am, I, am I free to go ahead and, and do that? Because that must already yes. exist, right? Mm -hmm. what, what he a gets paid, he doesn't makes, exist. No, but I mean the fees right. and the stuff fees, must all, the fees all be there. Are, yeah. Right. Yeah. The but we have other fees and, and forms right. that right. need to be set up. Right. But it also be in there. And the, yeah. there should be pointers in this to those. That's and that doesn't really change right. the policy. Yeah. That simply yeah. adds pointers yeah. within yeah. the document. How about that? Yeah. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. If you're willing, please yeah. carry I on. I can do that. Right. That would be great. Well, I don't know anything about gravel pits, but. Yeah, I can good. write. You can write. Yeah, that's yeah. excellent. That's good. I got gravel pits covered. <laughs> oh, you do. You gotta. I'm. Um, well, I'll, we'll cover that on our old business. I go on a request. Select board reports. Um, should I talk about the PTV tour now or? In sure. The, in yeah. Business? So sure. this week, the Preservation Trust of Vermont visited Hardwick on their. 
bus tour of the Northeast Kingdom. Um, and I gave you guys uh, each a packet that is what all of the people on the bus received. Um, and did they go, ooh? They had asked about, specifically, they wanted to, in downtown, they wanted to visit the, the hear about the bridge project. And they wanted to know what was happening with the Gazette building. Um, so I prepared these, Very what nice. I think are beautiful little packets. Yeah. So in one side, it has all the information about the bridge, about the yellow barn, about the granite shed, about the, um, about the townhouse, uh, it, everything that was in the designated downtown, and then uh, projects that they've been interested in in the past. So yeah. they had that written down because Ben asked me to do a little speech, and I was not prepared <clears throat> to cover all the topics. So I created awesome. this instead. And then on the other side, it has what's going on at the Civic Standard, and then all the uh, references to many of the historic buildings and businesses. <coughs> With that are people uh, who are serving on the downtown board. Um, so information about that, and then that last little bit about the uh, LBRT. Awesome. And a free magnet, which you can all I have one that. too. Oh, thank Where you. did you get the magnet? There, it's an artist in Rhode Island that we sell them at Whistle, but I gave them to everybody. Yeah, Shop left them. Don't lose it, because it costs money. Um, nice. Yeah. So that's um, what's hey, happening. Gary. Yep. Sherry, it would, it would be really cool, if possible, to have some of these at town meeting this year, because I think it's such a great way, uh, so, so many great projects are in this. I don't know if we can print a few out just to have the for a town meeting for the people pages, to get. The pages, possibly. Uh, we are going to have, um, which we could go into new business and say that the SE group is going to have boards um, for public engagement to see the ideas for the new park um, so that they can give feedback on the on the different ideas for the new park space downtown so we're going to have some things to look at at town meeting too but yeah we'll but perhaps see. Um, another board perhaps. With, with this stuff on yeah. it would be nice maybe just a board yeah set just, just more packets right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's up. Life size cut out picture of me. Right? A stick. I have a stick on a U at my house. And darts. <laughs> and darts. And darts. Oh, yes. My kids call I expect Santa. that on the other end of the table. My kids. I think know. that they visited my many, kids call it Santa Claus. They didn't get as much information the as they got. Oh. Which is why. Nerf. We have nerf. Which was the point. Yeah. You know. Good job, Jerry. Awesome. Ben said I had raised the bar. Wow. I said, right? I think That's it was Hardwick awesome. raising the bar. I think it was awesome. That's good. That's great. That's good. Yeah. He says that, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's important. It's always good. Yep. The, the Preservation Trust is a friend to Hardwick, and yeah. they hold the, no, they were the Freeman golden, Foundation funds in there. The golden satchel they have. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was great. They also came to the yellow barn and I right. spoke briefly. Yeah. But I didn't put to, together I, a nice package. Well, but I had put that in there so that you I know, so I didn't had have that to, to refer to, right? Yeah, yeah. And the granite shed, too. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. My, All good. I, I was very oh, off really? the cuff. They were nice. Nice, uh, nice group. Any other select board reports? New business. Did I say I had Old them? business you said you had. Oh, we have a public hearing for the gravel pit for the bond. Yeah. Uh, sometime right before town right before meeting. town meeting. When we probably also have our fee town meeting. <coughs> Same time, right? I yeah, want to make sure day. that you can speak to the gravel pit. Okay. Thank you. I've spread the word. Spread the word. It's the on the yeah, spread the gravel. Spread the March second meeting. 5.30 public hearing. It's an yep. opportunity once in a century opportunity for the town of Hybrid. Yeah. It's really that. Okay, just make sure that yep. you're on. Uh, so I have uh, Wear a tie or something. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a tie guy. That's what the Chaz Greenways guy told me the other day. I'm like, yeah, you're fairly new around here. <laughs> He's I a tie-dye guy. don't wear a tie. Yeah. Tie-dye guy? Tie-dye guy. Tie -dye guy. Tie -dye as, as Philip, I better wear a tie when I went to see you. Um, I'm going to share this with Opie. Okay. This is the project uh, 
summary for the right farm road is I'm going to be starting. Okay. Um, just so you have that fresh, I'll send us some stuff to you electronically too. Yeah. Would you but, like me um, to do some of that? We got you um, and I need to meet. Stuff yes, you and I need about? to meet maybe in the next week or so. And we'll take the side by side and go up and go over the project on the ground. Okay. And then I'll probably have to <coughs> send some letters to the joining landowners. Yeah. Letting them know that we have to cut some trees in the right of way and they'll be marked. And I might just do a face to face. They have. A, that's, I don't care how you do it, but I like registered letters to people like that. That too. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna get started on it. I just okay. wanted to let you know that. Um, and I do wanna talk about gravel from one of the sources. <clears throat> I think it, it sounds like a good idea if the town can provide some gravel for- Right, it just means we can do more work to the road. That's all right. that means. If I have to purchase the gravel, which I was going to get from Kenny anyway. Now, will this open up uh, to vehicles? This will like, not necessarily. Like, all, like Jeeps and. They will be able, so the deal is they can't build the road. I, it has to be a high clearance vehicle. Okay. Um, the other, the, the thing that the town could do that I would support if this like board wanted to, is to make that a legal trail. An illegal trail you can restrict use you can just say no motor vehicles, yeah. Because you could do that to Buffalo as well, but I think that's a slippery slope when it's a class four road. I think it's okay to have that. it be a class four. Road. I think it's okay to have it have vehicles, four wheel drives. I mean, that's I build it that way. I build. I do class four roads every day, all summer long. Yeah. Every year for the last twenty years. So yeah. It will not be a, a car road. It will not be a, right. A, a no, I know that. One fifty road. Yeah. But it will be a two fifty road. You know, F two fifty road. Yeah. Which is what it should be. It's a, it's a town right of way. It's, yeah. uh, we got 80, 70, some, I think 72 acres or something like that up there. Right? On top of the hill, yeah. On top of the hill, it should be utilized way more than it is. And this is, you know, this is a connector between the Lamar Valley Rail Trail and the Heart of Woodbury Rail Trail, yeah. other yeah. than going through the village. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's a much nicer ride on your bike up over that hill than it is. Well, there aren't that many, I, I haven't, yeah. It would be if it was nice driving, right? If it wasn't. It's still hilly. I let you out of the side by side and you chose to run up the hill instead of down <laughs> one day. <laughs> I let I'm him not, out and I'm like, no. he's going, I'm going around the woods to see. And I'm like, okay, and I'm looking down the hill and I'll turn around and gone, he's running up the hill. I'm like, we just drove down the hill. I could have let you out up there. But we drove to the bottom, he ran up. I'm like, yes. So my brain, I told him, I said, my brain don't work like that, just so you know. So I do ride my bike up there, and I do I do get some people yeah. to join me. Buffalo is a little rough over on the Buffalo side, but yep. I don't want to take on that right challenge that right now because we have another nice landowner over there. That it's also steeper on that side. Yeah. yeah. The only good part about that side is it's down to bedrock, so it's it is what it is. It doesn't. It's not going to. It's not road. going to go anywhere. No, it's been that way since I was a kid. It ain't going nowhere. That was the first time I realized a car could go, or a truck could go like this without pulling over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like. There was a few years where it was six. impassable to go through there before Dragon fixed it. And it was really bad. Anyway. Yeah, let's get some more. All right, excellent. Anything else for new business, old business? All right, could we have a motion to enter into executive session for VSA 313 to discuss a personnel matter? Uh, session to include the town manager and police chief. So moved. Second. Aye. Favor? Aye. 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 